Moog Music, and uh, I'm here today at NAMM 2013 to show you guys the Sub Fatty Synthesizer. This is the newest uh, analog synthesizer from Moog Music. We're debuting it at the NAMM show this weekend. Uh, and what we have here is a analog synthesizer with a fully 100% analog signal path uh, and digital integration that allows you to, you know, interface directly with uh, Pro Tools, Ableton, whatever you know, uh, digital workflow you have, this analog synthesizer can easily be a part of that. Uh, now it does bear the fatty name, which makes it part of the, the fatty line of synthesizers. Uh, users of the Slim Fatty and the Little Fatty will be instantly familiar with this instrument, but at the same time we went back to the drawing board and completely redesigned from the ground up. A lot of new features fundamentally in this instrument that will give it its own unique voice and make it its own uh, instrument uh, as it stands. The first thing that you'll notice is on the interface, we have one knob per function. Every control that you want access to uh, is immediately just a touch away. You have tactile response that allows you to control every facet of the sound. Uh, you'll also notice that we've taken away the LCD screen. There's no menu tree, there's no menu diving in this instrument. Anything you need, you just reach out, you touch it, it's there, it's quick, it's instantly gratifying, and it never takes you out of the experience uh, of the fact that you're playing an instrument. Now on the inside, we've went back and the oscillators completely redesigned them. These are the most crisp, clear, high definition uh, oscillators that Moog has produced to date. Um, there's tons of high frequency content, harmonics uh, that these oscillators are generating, and that's going to give you uh, some, some life and some punch, you know, when you're creating dance tracks or if you're on stage competing with a guitar, you know, the, that high frequency content is going to be uh, what puts you over the top and really lets, the, lets you stand out as a player. Um, we also went in on our filter circuit and we've sort of reimagined how we look at filter drive. Uh, Moog synthesizers, historically, from the, from the introduction of the first mini Moog, have had this great ability to overload the circuit and create this really nice overdrive. Um, and on this instrument, we do pre-filter overloading in the mixer section. Uh, when you're at 12 noon on your oscillators, you're at full volume. Everything that you travel past that is adding that pre-filter overload. just really warms up and thickens up the tone. Now, on a multi-drive knob, we're adding post-filter, FET, uh, FET overdrive, and OTA distortion, and that's going to make it really scream. As I turn this knob, you're going to hear it go from a warm, tube-like overdrive into full-on searing distortion.